Hey guys, welcome to another first time home buyer advice, secrets of real estate industry exposed. Okay, so what are we gonna talk about today? Well, we're gonna talk about bullshit designations. That's right. Now, what is a BS designation? I'm gonna give you an example. So, housing crash, 2008. 2009 through 2012, there was a program where you could spend like 500 bucks, you could do a little bit of education, and you would get a designation that you were a certified short sale expert. Short sales were a big deal then, you know, a lot of people needed to short sell their house, meaning they were selling the house for less than what they owed. So real estate agents really wanted that business. And so they wanted to get this designation. Now look, if you're a someone selling their house and you see two realtors, let's say Betsy and Bobby, and Bobby's signature and Bobby's marketing says he's a short sale certified specialist, right? Okay you're gonna go, I'm short selling my house. Betsy seems great, but Bobby's a certified short sale specialist. Yeah, here's the fun thing about that. Betty might have done 220 short sales, but since Bobby has that bullshit designation, you are more likely to go with him because you think the designation means something, okay? Look, we all feel that way in all avenues of life. Like if I went to a hamburger restaurant and it said certified best hamburger in, the United States, uh, certified one of the best hamburgers in the United States. I'd be like, oh my God, this must be a great hamburger stuff. But realistically, you could probably make up or buy that designation, right? You could make it up. If you're a hamburger owner, you're welcome for the terrible marketing idea that will work, but is not ethical, right? And we see that in real estate and lending all the time. So whenever you guys see a designation, whether it's a lender or a realtor, what you want to do is this. Pretend that you were a realtor or a lender and go online and say, and just type in, um, you know, I'm using the short sale one, but certified short sale uh, specialist designation, how to get right? Or, you know, vetted XYZ lender how to get, right? Look it up. See how much it costs. See what the education is. Yeah. And that's the thing. That's what the whole scam is. It's education, right? And like sometimes the education is laughable. You don't know what the education is. You just see the designation. You know, I was joking to someone about this before I filmed it. Okay, it was myself. Anyways, and I was like, I could start, you know, Jennifer Beeston approved lenders, right? You guys watch all my videos, so you're gonna assume, well, Jennifer Beeston approved them. Jen doesn't approve anything. They must be amazing, right? Guys, I could charge them $1,000 and do a 10 minute video making balloon animals. You wouldn't know. That's the thing. That's why you need to be so careful about designations and not trusting them. Whenever I see like a real estate agent or a lender and they have like 15 designations, I'm always like, they probably do no business. Literally, and I'll look it up. And more often than not, someone with a ton of designations really doesn't do any business. It's like they're trying to find the marketing piece that's suddenly gonna get them business. And they think if they buy another designation, that's gonna be the ticket. Cause that's the way these things are sold. These things are sold as like, hey, you know, double, triple your business, pay for our designation, take our courses, which are LOL, and your business will grow. Yeah, okay. so. As a consumer, what you need to do is when you see a bunch of those designations, look them up, look them up. And you know, look, if you're looking at a real estate agent, I stick with what I say in every video, there is nothing that's gonna trump third party reviews, Google, Yelp, Zillow, you know, if they're in Houston, uh, you know, the MLS actually has it where you can see the reviews. Third party reviews, and then you can also go on Zillow and see how much business they're doing in 90% of the country, okay? That is gonna trump any designation you see. And the other thing I want you to know is what started this video is I was triggered. Someone sent me a video and it was of another lender and this lender has in their title VA loan expert. This lender is not a VA loan expert. This lender's done less than 20 VA loans in the last two years, but they've decided that they want to get into VA loans, so they're gonna fake it till they make it. And the video that was sent to me was describing a VA product completely inaccurately. So they're basically online now, saying they're a VA loan expert, talking bullshit about a product that they don't understand in an effort to bring in more business. What's gonna happen to those people who go to 
with that person and are following that advice? Well, they're going to lose the appraisal. They're going to lose the pest inspection. Um, they could lose their earnest money because based on the way they were saying that this loan was done, it was never going to close, right? And that's what you guys need to be really careful with. Just because someone puts in their marketing or in their signature line that they're an expert in something, it doesn't mean shit. It does not mean shit. I'm sorry. I'm cussing a lot, but it's just like... I hate deceptive advertising. I hate it so much. Let me give you an example. So we had a client where she wanted to buy a house in another state and she didn't have a job lined up and she couldn't work remote. And I'm like, you need to get a job in the other state. I can't do this till you can, period. It's that simple, right? So doesn't like that answer, which happens, like I get it. And so she goes to another lender. The other lender says they're a VA loan expert. Yes, another one. They're falling off of trees. So they're a VA loan expert. They've been in the business for 30 years. Oh, Jennifer's just wrong. I can totally do this for you. 30 days passes. The day of closing, the day of closing, this woman has packed her boxes, guys. She's packed her boxes. She's paid for an appraisal. She's paid for a pest inspection. She's paid for a home inspection. The day of closing. Hey, yeah, the underwriters just came back. We need you to have a job here. Really? Really? <laughs> Duh! Right? Right? But look, from her perspective, he'd been in the business for 30 years and he's portraying himself as a VA loan expert. So, you know, would you expect that he was telling the truth? Yeah. Also, you would also go, why would a lender want to spend so much time on a deal without it closing? Like that makes so sen no sense. It's because they didn't know the rules. They didn't know the guidelines. They're cosplaying as a VA loan expert when in reality, they're a lender that never learned their guides, you know? And that's what I want you guys to be careful of. So I don't want to go on too long. The whole premise of this video is, look, don't believe anything in anyone's signature line. Like, you know, if you see something where it's like top 1%, number one, you can always ask them, just be like, oh yeah, that's super cool. I saw your top 1%. What publication had that? Because whenever anyone's making claims like that, any claims I make, there's a publication to back it up. A hundred percent. I would never make a claim without being able to provide data, you know, from a recognized publication to shore up any claim I make. But anything else, you know, because there's designations where it's like, ah, it's all different types of loans. Like, and we see it with multicultural as well, but it's like FHA, Stallion, whatever, right? What what was the training? Like, is it is it your company having you take a class and then you get the FHA Stallion badge? Does that really make you an expert because you did a one hour seminar? That doesn't make you an expert, okay? If that made you an expert, I would be an expert hairstylist, makeup artist, I would be a personal trainer. We all know that is not what's happening, right? So, be careful guys, questions, comments, as always, feel free to reach out. Um, just look behind the marketing, okay? Thanks for watching.